Good morning, everyone. Dr. Rob Kilt, CMI Fertility. How are you doing today? Beautiful day, Sunday. Let's see, where are we? Ooh, the 29th of August. And uh, wow, this month is going zippity fast. And the 1st of September is coming. Uh, let's see, uh, Doc Carey Carey, how are you doing? Marie, ah, uh, yes. H. Mark, good morning. How are you guys doing today? A pleasure. Uh, Mrs. McNeil. And uh, uh, let's see, XO. Lee Zaxo, hello, good morning, dream love, good morning, it's a beautiful day, let's see, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, here to share some uh, ideas in improving your fertile journey, Gabriella, good morning to you, how you doing, and uh, upstate New York, it's a beautiful day today, and doesn't matter clouds or rain or sun, whatever it is, it's a beautiful day, and remember, it's all made in the mind, and we need to practice more faith love, patience, and joy. Uh, uh, yes, awesome. Uh, Tess De La Rosa, how you doing? Uh, Dr. Dink, awesome. I think it was Dr. Fink, awesome. And Dr. Uh, Banchik, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Here to answer questions. Uh, busy week coming up. Uh, Dr. Uh, Corley and I, I think we'll be in Syracuse. Uh, Dr. Fink and Dr. Magarelli in uh, Colorado, Dr. Ditkoff and Grossman in uh, Albany for retrievals, and uh, Dr. Chang and Dr. D'Souza in uh, our Buffalo office. Uh, Bill Morris, uh, Bandy, Marie, uh, Lee Burks, good morning, good morning. It's a happy Sunday, Amber. Yes, it is. And again, this journey of, of for infertility is hard. It's challenging. Don't give up patience and persistence and yes we all get angry sad mad frustrated depressed but we want to sort of dip dig deep and to get your journal out and write in the journal check out um fertile hope yoga and the fertile spirit uh just on our cny fertility website uh and uh you know talk to someone about how you can um do better in this and whether it's yoga or meditation or it's some therapy and we all need therapy one way or another and that's why we reach out to family friends loved ones or a trained therapist to talk to someone let's see Tr tremaine good morning 41 amh of zero uh point uh 909 uh excellent chances don't give up don't forget to dig deep into kilts's keto the family building guide. I think I've got it here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Family building guide. Check it out. We have a new one coming out soon. Uh, lots of great uh, ideas there on how you can improve your odds. Don't forget what you put in the mind, in the mouth, and how you move the body. Slow it down. More positive, more listening, more learning, more growing. All of us, because we have to get off this crazy stress uh, uh, gerbil wheel in so many ways, but uh, don't forget laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, or for endo and the medical treatment for endo, uh, which is Orlisa or Lupron with letrozole for about two months. You can go longer. And remember, Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle, a uh, new, new book is coming out soon on Amazon, uh, but you can um, take a look at our website or drkiltz.com and get a lot of good stuff there also. And Vanessa T., uh, happy weekend to you guys also. And uh, all of us, uh, we're just doing the best we can each and every day. Amanda Garcia, hello. How is it possible that you're lining be 8.7 on Thursday and start progesterone that Friday, then Monday, your lining is 3.3 .3 day before expected transfer? Well, the lining we measure prior to progesterone is the one that counts and it may be they didn't measure the right level at either one of those that's my bet more than anything so because those scans can easily miss the right spot but uh it likely didn't shrink down from eight seven to three three likely it was mis measured either the 8.7 or the 3.3 it's not a perfect process but remember it's before trigger uh, or before progesterone that matters. And I say, don't measure it again once you've done that, by the way. Annie Clover, thank you very much. Love to you. And to everyone's, everyone out there, your families, your friends, your loved ones, and even give love to everyone in this world. We need to do that more and more. Challenges are always going to occur, and we just need to continually send love. Uh, have third uh, all on our own. Awesome. Lauren W. Look at even if you've gone through fertility treatments, it still could happen 
naturally as long as you have open tubes and you have eggs and you have sperm. So don't give up on that. We know that it can still happen. Uh, let's see. What is the benefit of HCG wash? Uh, Mrs. Uh, Man uh, McNeil, 15. Well, basically, what we're doing here is trying to enhance the endometrial lining for implantation. And there are there are receptors for implantation that HCG seems to be an important component, whether it's blood vessels or it's or it's glycoproteins or the glycobiome, uh, the HCG wash, the PRP wash, and even the Neupogen wash all can help enhance implantation for either intercourse IUI or a fresh or frozen transfer. Um, how long after the cycle, day one is day three, frozen embryo transferred? Lisa... Uh, uh, Michael. So typically, uh, a frozen transfer uh, is performed upon the fourth day of progesterone, uh, or if you retrieve day zero, day one, two, and three is how we count it. Day zero is day of retrieval, and literally you count day one, two, or three. Now, embryos, by the way, can grow a little slower or a little faster. Uh, and there is a little wider implantation window, I think, sometimes that we understand. But that's where maybe the ERA, ERP, iGenomics, or Cooper Genomics may come in to help give you a little better lineup of the timing for that uh, for that transfer. Uh, Picos, Tiffany Jen Gibbs, good morning. How you doing? Uh, let's see. Picos and losing weight has been an issue for me. It's an issue for everyone, by the way. The body does not want to be skinny. Uh, heard uh, up. TV a diet program helps with fertility at all, uh, or is keto diet the best? Listen, anything that makes a lower glucose environment can be helpful. Um, I have the Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle, which is one meal a day. Uh, it's a high fat, low to no carbs. Uh, cook the carbs well and add the add the fat. That's the critical part. But by eating less frequently, you lower the glucose levels. If you're losing weight, that means you're in a lower glucose environment, which is where you want to be, which it means it's going to lower inflammation because glucose is the leading cause of most of most inflammation in our bodies. Remember, glucose comes from all plant material. See my recommended ERA for the first frozen transfer, Nikki uh, squared. Uh, it's it's offered to everyone. We're not sure who should get it at the first time, a missed cycle, but Part of this question is, well, why wouldn't you do everything you can in order to enhance and get the very best results? And that's an argument you might ask uh, to all of us in this business. But I think that adds cost to the process and time to the process. You you do it with a frozen embryo transfer. So for those who are doing a, a retrieval and a fresh transfer, no. But for a frozen embryo transfer, I think we should talk more about, yes, do it earlier. But that goes with laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, keto, LDN, CBD oil, cod liver oil. Why is cod liver oil or CBD oil helpful or, or omega-3 fatty acids? Because it reduces inflammation. What is the highest BMI you have seen someone doing IVF? It's pretty high. Trying to lose weight beforehand, I still will be pretty high. I need to lose 150 pounds. Carrie Ann, listen, we'll take care of everyone and anyone uh, I don't think we should measure that number, uh, but but certainly everything you can do to get to a healthier lifestyle and weight is better. Um, under 40 for sure, but, you know, do we have people at 45 and you're 50 that are having babies? Yes. Individually, we need to take care of you and not take one number and say yes or no. So we'll be glad to talk to you and help you in this process. Plenty of women have babies with higher BMIs naturally, but we want to do everything we can to recognize why are you infertile? Probably the same reason all other women at any other BMI may be infertile in this. Uh, uh, let's see. Hello, uh, Cat K75, Monique Carper. When infertile joined, good morning and thank you for joining. Listen, there's so many other uh, people sharing their thoughts and ideas how to improve your fertility, whether it's natural paths or acupuncturists, massage therapists, or chiropractors, or Western or Eastern trained physicians, or anyone out there with some experience and knowledge that wants to share improving. We all should be in this in this journey. Uh, giving a degree doesn't make you smarter than anyone else. 
Uh, let's see, Monroe, Bauer 79. We're working with Dr. V in Atlanta uh, on uh, on that. And I'm sorry it's been taking so long to get it going in Atlanta, but uh, we just got uh, our Colorado location going. We're working on Sarasota right now with Dr. Condrip and the team and very excited to be working on that. Uh, let's see, Rachel Keys, how you doing? Sarah Vital, Sarah Vital, um, uh, let's see, uh, Somaderm, uh, Omnitrope. There are other uh, 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 human growth uh, hormones that can be helpful. Uh, I, so I think that even the homeopathic remedies may be enough, uh, but we just don't have any really great randomized studies to tell you which one is better than another. Laparoscopy is scheduled next week if it isn't canceled. Hi, Amanda. Uh, let's see, Amanda Garcia. We are still doing laparoscopies and hysteroscopies in Syracuse. Uh, Dr. Verdi Alice in Atlanta. Uh, Dr. Uh, Condrip is going to be doing them in Sarasota. Everyone, please get your COVID shots. Uh, it really is a protector, reduces the risk of serious disease. I recommend it when you're starting this or going through it. I think it's important. Beckett 80, how you doing? Field day three transfers, uh, started IVF cycle again on cycle day one on stems, had success with fresh day five. Uh, what would you recommend this time? Retrieval this coming week. So if you had success with the day five, push to that. Don't forget, look in the family building guide. Lots of really great stuff in here. I think it's page 73. Uh, and 70, let's see, 72, 73, 74 kind of lists some of our supplements. It lists uh, the immune protocols, one, two, three, and four. And then the big checkoff list, which I think is, again, whether you do PRP, washes, or ovarian uh, uh, PRP, laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, uh, Neupogen, IVIG, Humira, it's a whole list of stuff you can do and we're dream doers. Uh, keep dreaming, keep doing. And the most important part is keep the dream of a baby alive. Don't let it go. Whether, whether you're doing your eggs, uh, partner sperm or donor egg, donor sperm, your uterus or someone else's uterus, a partner, a neighbor, a friend, uh, or you're adopting, always keep your eye on the prize. Hey, Meg, how you doing? Uh, Meg, and thank you to our entire Syracuse, Rochester, Albany, Buffalo, Colorado, Philadelphia with Dr. Ivanov, Montreal, uh, and Sarasota, all our offices, and, and even the OBGYNs around the country that are joining us and helping do your monitoring, do your blood draws, pre- and post-care. Let's all come in together. Uh, Lisa, Michael, uh, you recommended to have uh, you recommended to have a small polyp removed before transfer. I'm a travel patient with the uh, my doc uh, here wants to do a DNC with the polypectomy. Do you recommend both? And so, yes, I would say you do a look inside. You take out the polyp, and a little DNC clean out is good. So tell your doc that's equivalent to a scratch procedure, and the scratch may help with implantation. So all of these things. Uh, Sona uh, Muchkin, how you doing? Lindsay Lavender, good morning. How you doing? Jane uh, Bino, I had an egg retrieval on Tuesday. Only had one egg out of 11 follicles. The egg didn't fertilize. Follow-up appointment uh, with me in October. Uh, and and if you if you ask the girls, and hey, Dr. Kiltz, can you get me in a little earlier? And I do get text messages, not too many, 315-416-9872. And quite often I can get some people in earlier, give some advice. Remember, a follicle doesn't meet an egg. An egg doesn't meet an embryo. An embryo doesn't meet a baby. But we're doing everything we can to, to understand the reason for this working and not working for sure. Andrea, let's see, Marie. Uh, uh, Lasso, Anidra, Anidra, laparoscopy isn't an option. What else do you recommend? Failed transfers. Then that's the least the hysteroscopy may be one. The, the anti-endo, antimicrobial, and the antihistamine protocol, which is the Orlis, letrozole, or Lupron, letrozole for two months, and then the uh, Claritin, Pepsin, Benadryl for one month, and the Levaquin, Flagyl, Valtrex, and Diflucan, uh, for one month also. And that's the antihistamine, antimicrobial, and the anti-endo treatments. I think they can be helpful in all of this. Remember, we're a culture dish. All those microorganisms want to be in us. 
right? They, they want us for sure. Remember all, all organisms, you must eat a living, something that was a living organism in order to be alive. Whether you're a vegan or vegetarian, a carnivorian, a Mediterranean, it doesn't matter. We're all eating something that was once alive and they don't want to die either. Ha, oh, boy, it's complicated. Stim on meds tomorrow, second IVF cycle. What should I be eating? JJ103. Well, to me, it's bacon, eggs, butter, beef, ice cream, and salt. The Kiltz's baby's diet. And don't forget, intermittent feasting, one meal a day at night. Uh, or before you go to bed, rest and digest. The bowels need to be empty more. And that's why that one meal a day, I think, is really the game changer. But look at, um, uh, don't forget, Miss Emmerich. Marie and I are coming out with a new book, uh, Keto. Don't forget Keto, Keto, Keto. And I think too many spices are not good for us, and you got to be careful. Uh, but I mostly recommend the carnivore. And Miss Emmerich has a great, uh, Craig and Marie Emmerich have a great uh, carnivore diet. All the diseases we suffer from go away, and so many get pregnant naturally. Better sperm, better eggs, better everything. You will feel better than ever by doing Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle, and the carnivore is the one. Uh, let's see, Lori, Lori Vol, how you doing? Uh, we already had a consult with you two years ago. We needed uh, a go. We need an SF to begin. Need ultrasound and blood work done. I'm our appointment is time. Uh, so three one five four one six nine eight seven two. I look at the text. Just tell me what you need. I either take care of it. I'll send it to one of the team members to help you get in sooner. We do have some holes there. I do try to take a little time off. I did get in my pottery studio this morning, making some Kiltz's cups on Etsy. I've got more coming out. And uh, they're nominal amounts. And I'm uh, putting all back into making more pots and, uh, and helping make more babies. Andrea Hodges, neurogenic bladder, usually get Botox done. We have now pursuing IVF and unfortunately don't have a console until October. Is there a time frame to do the Botox beforehand? Uh, so look at Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle. It'll take care of those neurogenic bladders because the neurogenic bladders is due to glycation and inflammation and the neurotoxins that plants make to kill other micro and macro organisms, but the Botox shouldn't have much and it shouldn't have an adverse effect on your eggs or embryos or implantation. I think so. I don't have a time frame on that one, but ultimately I guess if there's a neurotoxin you're injecting, it could seep around and get into other parts of your body. So I don't know that for sure. That's a very good question, but I think when you really, really go to this craziness, and I got up Judy Cho. Oh my God, you got to check out uh, Judy Cho's book on carnivore cure. Uh, and, and I've been a nutcake on carnivore for 10 years. And do I, from time to time, have a little bit of French fries or my ice cream? Yes. But the majority of time, it's steak, steak, steak. And uh, is it crazy? Yes. And, but listen, what I've learned over my experience. More so than, than like someone taught me in school, I learned from the school of hard knocks in some ways. What I was doing wasn't working for me or you. I learned some new things on meditation, prayer, yoga, visualization, Shakti Gawain, uh, creative visualization. If you haven't read that one, Miss T's were reading that. And it's just really, really good reads and listening and learning. And remember, God is within all of us. God is the creator of everything out there, and our brain creates everything out there. Remember, you're the creator of out there. And um, our bodies are the miracle machines, and treat it like it's the temple, not the amusement park, for sure. Uh, let's see. Sarasota should be officially open for monitoring and consults next week. Some basic stuff. And, and we're really, we've got a lot of construction to start on for our IVF later uh, in the year or the, just in the new year. So again, we're working on, on all of these things and our, our, our team is really working hard to help with this. So thank you for everyone, for your patience uh, in order to keep it more affordable. Uh, we were, we got to just go slow and easy. And if you're doing a financing plan, you got to make your monthly payments. If you don't, we got to raise our prices and I don't want to do that. And uh, we're going to stay at the 39.95 and 
There are some add-ons and things that may add some prices, but we want to keep it low. And don't forget, mini protocols, even natural IVF, Clomid Letrozole Trigger IVF, mini dose, 10, 220. I've seen minis and duos make more eggs than a high dose, which is costing way too much money. 75 a gonal or falstim, 75 a manipure. Do a 10, 220 of just a gonal manipure, uh, letrozole and HCG. It can really, really, really work. And in order to prove your eggs, uh, ovarian uh, PRP, intrauterine PRP, Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle. Don't forget the ovarian bloom, uh, molecular fertility's uh, ovarian bloom. Uh, it should be on our website. Uh, Will's working on that. We've had our COVID craziness. Sorry about all the timing. Uh, but if you're not sure about something, just stop and don't do anything. Call us and ask. Uh, blessing. What a blessing. Yes, it is a blessing, Maria Cruz. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I always enjoy talking with all of you guys. I spend a lot of time doing this on the phones. I am, I enjoy it. Uh, Dr. Dr. Banerjee is going to be with us again this week. Uh, awesome. Banerjee, Lutheringer, uh, Faruqi, and Corley in Syracuse. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Dr. Uh, Neuhauser uh, in, in, uh, in Albany working with Dr. Uh, Grossman and Dr. Ditkoff. Really grateful to all of them, by the way. Uh, should I do another transfer or an ERA? Two failed transfers, so day three embryos. Uh, Same-sex couple just turning 33. Uh, ERA, Carissa Curry, ERA, laparoscopy, hysteroscopy. Don't forget Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle. Remember, as a vegetarian or a vegan, it can be done. Carnivore can be It's all. We're here to take care of everyone, size, shape, age, weight, gender description, uh, your color description, your cultural, socioeconomic description. All of these are made up constructs. Remember, God is within all of us. You're a beautiful, amazing human being, and you deserve the journey and the love and the kindness that you're working through. Uh, let's see. Carrie Jefferson, how does metformin once a day help if you don't have PCOS? Uh, well, uh, I'm not a big fan of metformin myself. I know some of my docs like it. Um, I like inositol. Keto fasting is the best way to get to the baby and keep dreaming and doing to get what you want. Uh, but uh, the metformin reduces insulin glucose levels, essentially. And that's what we want more than anything. Lower glucose, lower glycation. Remember, if you eat more glucose, insulin goes up. There's no such thing as insulin resistance. And glucose is not the energy for your cells. Fat is. And we all have some fat. And if you don't, you're dead. Fat is good for us. Amy, Thank you very much. Seven weeks. Awesome. Twins after a fresh transfer in Albany. Uh, and, and Grossman and Ditkoff, thank you for your amazing work. We're all working together, Justine and her entire team. And don't forget, you, you got to practice mindfulness every day. Be mindful of the life's challenges, but see the beauty and love in all of them. We all have challenges, all of us. And, and I'm the first to admit I have challenges that I sometimes don't deal with quite as well and I can do better. Carissa Rogers, what would you suggest uh, for IVF after a sure mini or full? I do a ton of mini IVFs. I think it works great. You don't need to get 20 eggs. You need a few embryos. Uh, that's it. Look at more day three transfers. Even if an embryo, an egg is unfertilized and it cleaves to a two or three uh, cell on day three, we might think maybe it's cleaving slow because it fertilized the next day and we should hold them longer. And we're really working on a lot of new and different things. You can do PGS testing if you want. My bias is, is that maybe we're, 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 we're discarding some embryos and uh, we should be thinking about... Uh, about holding them longer and and maybe not doing PGS, but we're here to do what you want and you desire, by the way. Uh, if you're looking at gender, you can just do the XY genes and uh, and look to see whether or not you're a boy or a girl. Uh, let's see. Dole Whip uh, coming to Syracuse in September. Uh, I, if I'm there most of the time, you can ask for me to do your trials and transfers, and if I'm available, I'll be glad to come and do it. Dr. Corley, Dr. Uh, Lutheringer, they're the retrieval transfer. Amazing guys. Dr. Verdi Alice comes up. 
industrial retrievals and transfers in Syracuse, uh, working on getting our Atlanta uh, office moving forward. Uh, let's see. Endometrial receptivity assay, Alyssa Daniel. I won't have enough time on progesterone transfer before my receptive window for my first FET, getting lap hysteroscopy before transfer already. Uh, well, the ERA gives you a marker of the window. If you send it for pathology, it may look until you have inflammation. Uh, so these are helpful things. It adds to what we do. Why not? It adds cost, time, be, be patient. And remember, everything you're doing here is worth the investment. Know that. Uh, let's see. A22, Lauren Fields, Catherine McField, uh, Brittany uh, Noble, Jack, good morning to everyone. And how are you guys doing? Let me get one for Brittany here. Husband's semen analysis came back with low morphology, inflammation, uh, amorphous heads with amorphous heads and low progressive motility, inflammation. Either he's too much on the treadmill uh, or he's eating too many carbs too often or something is damaging it. Uh, left a comment that the sperm is adequate for IVF. Yes, it may be adequate. Don't forget molecular fertility male supplement. Don't forget the lotus naltrexone. He may also do cod liver, omega-3s, oils. Uh, look at LDN, CBD, uh, and uh, acupuncture massage and get off the treadmill. One meal a day. For me, it's carnivore. And check out Marie and Craig Emmerich's carnivore. And Judy Cho's has a really great stuff on this. But again, if you don't want to go there, you want to be vegan or vegetarian, it's still fasting, add the fat, cook the carbs well. Um, and, and sometimes, in the, yes, IVF may be adequate for that, by the way. So uh, uh, yes, for sure. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, let's see. Krista Marie, is, natural and na is mini and natural IVF better for low AMH? I think so. Um, and I know that uh, many are, are, are finding great success in that. Um, you can spend five to $10,000 on drugs, but you can also spend in the one to 2000 range, do a lot better, more mini cycles, fewer eggs and embryos. You're not having a bunch out there. I think it has really great success. Uh, let's see peachy Frank. How you doing? Got my egg retrieval June, but I haven't transferred yet. I'm going, uh, I'm going through so much emotional distress. Oh, I'm sorry about losing your mom, but you never lose your mom, your dad, or anyone in life because they're always in our heart and keep them in your heart. I talk to my mom, my dad, my sister, my best friends that have passed every day and you have to bring faith into your life and you got to talk about it and you read about it and you listen to it. I listen to a tremendous amount of audio books uh, through audible.com of uh, the miracle power of your mind. Mind is the master. There's so many things, whatever your religious or non-religious belief is, that'll help in all this. And don't forget the fertile spirit and the fertile hope yoga, because it's normal to feel at a loss when you've lost your mom, your dad, a friend, a family member, uh, even a, a an animal, right? And this journey is hard. Uh, yes, you can do my transfer. You could do your transfer now, but waiting to December is okay. You can do serial banking retrievals, by the way, and do all in triple stems. That's good also. Uh, but work, we we got to work on this much more. It's really the mind and the heart. Remember, that's the connection. Uh, and don't forget the bowels and the heart and the mind. It's all connected as one. And, and uh, electromolecularly, you got to do the work. This is where mindfulness and meditation comes in. Uh, thank you, God, Lord, creator for the day. I do my pottery, my painting, or just hang out in nature. Even this is part of my spiritual journey. Or when I do my, my uh, uh, morning uh, daily intentions, inspirations, which I've taken a, a few weeks off, it's to help me find the foundation that I need for sure. PRP, Neupogen, HCG at the same time, Mrs. McNeil. Yes, I think... We can incorporate those to a wash, uh, but some people like to do them one day and then another. Don't forget lipids, Lovenox, prednisone, and Plaquenil, level three. We're doing the immune protocol, but sometimes there's too much thrown at us. Do less. Uh, uh, Letters all trigger or natural cell trigger for sure. Peachy Frank, God bless you. Uh, let's see. Holly Veers. 
85. If uh, you had a history of preeclampsia, would you recommend doing a natural modified transfer? Yes. And, and again, letters all trigger. Uh, and don't forget, preeclampsia, uh, 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 ovarian hyperstimulation is all due to inflammation. And if you look at Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle for Fertility, the new book coming out, I, I have it upstairs, the new one. Uh, it's crazy ideas. But the more I've done this, I mean, at 65, I started doing a little light weights. I get on my bike a little bit, do a little bit. Uh, uh, and I'd say the light weights is good, little light on your bike. You go out in nature, but don't get it too crazy hot in here, by the way. Uh, two embryos on the seventh, and we just found out we're expecting a singleton. Oh, my God. Awesome. Awesome. Deval, Deval, Devalo uh, Skelly. Oh, Devalo Skelly. Awesome. Uh, how Viagra works to help thicken lining. So Viagra helps bring blood flow in, and that blood flow is critical critical for blood, uh, for the lining development. We think a lot of the troubles in egg and sperm and lining issues is due to inflammation. The microvascular, the glycocalyx is damaged due to a high sugar diet. And, and I love sugar. Oh my God, it's the best thing ever, but it's it, too much of it. So that's why I do only time to time Kiltz's Keto ice cream and check it out. You might love it from time to time, not all the time. Adi Tutu, how are you? Last Saturday, I've been cramping period like since Thursday till today. At uh, to uh, same time, my period comes bays tomorrow. Could it be my period? It may be, but don't take that as a get off my meds. Stay on your meds. Check your urine, even home urine. Check to see whether you might have a urinary tract infection. A, a, a bladder infection is very common in this process. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. Uh, in uh, Injun Amon, good morning. 38, polycystic ovarian syndrome, metabolic disorder, prediabetes. It's caused by a, 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 uh, a carbohydrate-rich uh, diet, by the way. Preparing for a first round of IUI. If not successful, shall we directly move to IVF or try another IUI? Uh, a pleasure and thank you, by the way. And I'm grateful to everyone, by the way, for asking questions, sharing answers. And there's so many in our in our fertile friends groups, and we're working globally just to get everyone connected. Whatever fertility center you're going to, we all need to connect together, improve your odds. We're not competing; we're co-creating together, and we can all do do better. By the way, and I'm really, really sorry for the passing of your father. And uh, remember, he's there with you always. Um, I'm talking to my mom and my dad. They're kind of hanging out with me. Uh, the good Lord's always with us. And the more we recognize that, the more amazing comes into our lives. Oh, my God. Uh, so uh, I would say that if you fail IUI, uh, look at all the stuff in the in the in the family building guide, and whether you're moving on to IVF or continue IUI, those are all reasonable ideas. Uh, IVF is more successful than IUI, which is more successful than intercourse if you're suffering from infertility. Uh, but don't give up on any of those things and don't, don't focus on, I don't want to do that. Just focus on, I'm having a baby. I'm building a family and the good Lord will provide. Ever heard that one, right? Our egg retrieval tomorrow in Albany. Uh, IVF journey wouldn't be possible. Uh, let's see. The uh, uh, Kai Renee, a pleasure, 33. And I, I apologize if I don't pronounce everyone's names right. I've got to practice more history of a little dyslexia, so i got to focus on it and pronounce it out or hear you tell me what it sounds like a little bit better. Uh, and we are, we're all praying and seeing success for everyone. The more we collectively share the energy of success, Everyone is successful on this journey. Everyone is successful, but we must continue to be patient and persistent in the journey. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. And, you know, are there mistakes that are made on this way for all of us? Yes, we're all doing our best to make it better for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nanira, 27. No PICO symptoms, but I have an AMH of 9.7. Metabolic syndrome. Remember, PICOs may have no symptoms other than you're infertile. Uh, metabolic disorder. It's a high-carbohydrate environment. 
Uh, Kilts is keto for sure. Get off the treadmill. Low dose naltrexone, inositol or ovacetol by Theralogics, uh, I think can be very helpful. But keto, ke kilts is keto, kilts is keto, kilts is keto. Uh, and remember, you gotta you gotta dance the dance of life. Don't ever give up. Natasha Allen, good morning. Sarah Lavelle, uh, good morning from Florida. Slight morphology count is good. Uh, would that even? Uh, uh, his morphology problem. Yeah, you look at, remember, not all the sperm is bad. There's always going to be some sperm in there. Always remember, it's always the egg, always the sperm, always the embryo, and always the implantation environment. And, and ultimately, this vessel, the miracle machine, is the reason for the damage to every single organ of our body. Cancer of organs, arthritis, psoriasis, kidney stones, migraines, and even COVID. And remember... It's all inflammation due to a due to an insult of a foreign body. There's no such thing as 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 an autoimmune disease. By the way, it's all inflammation, immunologic uh, reactions to foreign particles. All right, Lauren Fields. Uh, so uh, look at our family building guide. By the way, Ninra, Ninira uh, twenty seven. You'll find a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, you can get it at our website, the digital or amazon.com, and you can get uh, a, a paper copy. I love paper, but I love Audible too. Uh, let's see. What are your thoughts on a modified natural FET? If a woman has normal cycles and ovulates, I love modified naturals all the time, by the way. Uh, letrozole, Clomid, trigger, or just a trigger, or hey, I, I have an LH surge today. Uh, I always recommend uh, checking your progesterone levels, maybe adding a little vaginal oral progesterone. Uh, so modified natural transfers have the same success as medicated. I don't know. You know, again, our studies aren't very, very good. They can be be a little uh, misleading. I didn't respond too well to the stim meds. Just worried the same thing. Yes, go ahead, do a natural modified for sure because we throw all these drugs at you and then it doesn't work right. And we're like, what the heck happened? Allergic to latex pharmacy needed me to ask about Gana relax due to a uh, needle in insertion point is made of latex. Uh, needles, the metal shouldn't be, but you might then switch the cetratide or even oral or Alyssa. But um, if, I've not heard about the needle insertion point is made of latex, uh, but, you know, latex comes from plants and we're highly allergic to all this stuff. Remember, we're allergic to plants, but um, you should look towards maybe the cetratide, uh, but it's, it's, uh, it should be the metal part. Don't touch it with the, with the, um, uh, with the plastic, if it has latex. Um, can I transfer one day three and one day four together? Yes, you can. You can do that. Or I, I'd say a day three and a day five should be separated by by two days, but a day three and a four can be combined, I think, or a four day five or five day six. We do that all the time with day five, day sixes, even some day sevens. Uh, Gabriel, yes. Yeah, so if there's any part of it that's latex, get something non-latex. That's a good point. CoQ10 is something that is needed 33, no fertility issues, just tubal ligation. I think our supplements are, are helpful. You know, really the truth is if you're on a low inflammatory diet, which is kilts is keto lifestyle, I think you may not need these things, but taking them is not going to hurt. It may be helpful. And don't forget your vitamin D, A, D, E, K are the fat soluble. So you have to eat fat or take a supplement. Amira, I got an HSG done in the diagnosis of solitary left tubal diverticulum, uh, will that affect IVF? It should not affect IVF, by the way. Peachy, Frank, retrieve my eggs in Albany. The nurses are awesome. Thank you, by the way, to our Colorado nursing team, uh, to our Albany nursing team, Buffalo nursing team, Colorado, let's see, uh, Rochester nursing team, Syracuse, our nursing team in Sarasota, in Atlanta, all of our team, all of them, I'm really, really, really uh, grateful. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Kelly, Dr. Corley is a believer in metformin. Yes. Yes. Um, and these are all anti-inflammatory. So metformin and acetal, keto, LDN, I think are all good by the way. And remember all of us doctors have slightly different views. That's not to say one is right. The other is wrong. 
Uh, we all just, we're chefs. We're fancy chefs. We do it all a little bit differently. That's all okay, by the way. Uh, thoughts on supplements to help make more eggs. I didn't get any any last time. So, Kiltz's keto lifestyle and fasting is the number one way. DHEA, look at our molecular fertility supplements, including ovac uh, the, the ovarian bloom. Uh, ovarian bloom, the light on this one isn't, is for some reason it doesn't like it if it comes in there, but there's the ovarian bloom and uh, the male and female supplements. But uh, this is where uh, ovarian PRP may be helpful, but also duo and triple stems can be very helpful, by the way. Uh, have you seen success using gonal, gonal and trigger for those that struggle with thin linings? Yes. For frozen transfers, uh, a, a stimulated cycle with either straight gonal falstum or menipure uh, and adding some letrozole or clomid sometimes, uh, adding some HCG. Human growth hormone for frozens also can be can be can be very, very, very helpful, by the way. Uh, let's see. Sheree Jackson, how are you doing today, Sheree? A pleasure. After DNC to thin my lining, can I start transfer meds right away, by the way? So nursing, team members, if you're doing a DNC to thin a lining, get you started right away. Don't wait. Uh, some people will do uh, DNC with uh, with Lupron or Alyssa, but if we're thinning it out, don't wait. Just start it. Start, do the DNC, start the estrogen, ultrasound and bloods in a week to see what it looks like. Try it. I'm doing keto. Kelly, Penny, Garakis, LDN, PRP, laparoscopy, remove endo, acupuncture weekly, fertility massage, monthly awesome, HGH priming. What else can you do? Kitchen sink. Uh, don't forget prayer, meditation, and visualization, and check out the Fertile Spirit with Danielle Bertelli. And uh, don't forget Aaron McCullough's Fertile Hope Yoga. And don't forget we're all working together. There's so many out there resources. Just get on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, all over the place. We're working together to help. Um, and we have to all let go of this judgment. They don't know what they're talking about. They're wrong. Never seen that before. Where's the studies? Loosen up. We all need to loosen up. We're all doing our very best every day. Uh, v. Balducci, how long how have you? Let's see, I have suspected endo. How soon before IVF is best for lap? Uh, get your laparoscopy hysteroscopy and then go right to IVF. You don't have to wait in that at all. Uh, modified frozen transferred, modified natural. You know, we throw out all these terms so. And, and actually, in my family building guide, let me get to the page 70. So on page 73, for any of these, intercourse, IUI, IVF, and a frozen transfer, you can do natural, natural cycle. You can do oral medications, letrozole or Clomid. You can do a letrozole or Clomid with low-dose injectables. Uh, you can do straight injectables low standard moderate and high and then super high and then the and so you can do these with anything but the modified natural is usually maybe a trigger shot or adding some letrozole in a trigger shot uh that's kind of what we mean by some of these terms uh let's see what do you recommend for women who whose progesterone drop halfway into an fet cycle it's normal to get a drop i like to see it greater than 10 uh, but this is where, that's why we mark it. But uh, three times a day, vaginal or oral, intramuscular IM, 50 milligrams. You can go up to 100 twice a day. Uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, Devalos Kelly, when to start resume cardio lightweight training? I've been avoiding since transfer and just had third beta first ultrasound. Don't do it. Light and easy. For the thousands of years, Obviously, women went out and did the work and keep it light and easy. Do not get your heart going like this too fast. Keep it slow and easy. You want to do more of this. Go for a light walk in nature. Go slow. Take some pictures, but uh, don't get on a treadmill. Uh, if you're looking to lose weight, don't do it. Uh, drinking a certain amount of water daily. Thoughts on coffee. I've been off coffee about six months. I'm a coffee fiend. I love it. Um, I would just decide to get off of it. 
water how much, drink with thirst. We've gone, we can go only a few minutes without air, days without water, weeks without food. That's what we're built for. We're built for that. Too much water is not good for us. It's a dilution. People are just selling stuff. Three to six meals a day. No way. Three to six gallons of water or liters of water. It's way too much money. Too much money. It's too much money. Too much plastic. Too much waste. Uh, less is best. Lauren Liz81, a pleasure and thank you. Uh, amazing team members, by the way. We take care of recurrent pregnancy loss, failed implantation, early and late losses. Uh, incompetent cervix, we can help with that and refer you to someone for a cerclage, intra-abdominal cerclages. Uh, uh, so uh, Dr. Gomi in uh, in our Buffalo uh, area does a lot of our laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, so we're really grateful. Dr. Montalto in uh, uh, Albany does a lot of those. So uh, we have a lot of people really helping in a lot of those surgeries. Really great, by the way. Are there any plans for Kansas City, Ulchi? Uh, well... Let's put it on the map and think about it. Uh, talk to your OBGYN about helping do monitoring, uh, consults, referrals for retrievals and transfers. They can do all the pre and the post care. That's a lot of what we're working for is building our, our fertility alliance. We are working on adding more IVF retrieval centers. Those are coming in the next year, two or three, and we're working on that. We want to keep it affordable and we want to make this adventure uh, successful for everyone that we can. And unfortunately, it doesn't work for everyone in the way we think it should. Don't forget, uh, there's so many different ways, foster care, adoption, uh, or find joy and happiness in the work you do right now. Take a stimulant for chronic fatigue, can't find consistent advice in terms of going off or not for egg retrieval. Any thoughts? Well, listen, I would stay where you're at and do something. Um, you know, Co coffee and tea and other stimulants, I think we don't nap enough. And don't forget, chronic fatigue is caused by chronic inflammation, which is caused by a high plant-based diet. If you look at Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle on Amazon, um, it's an amazing, amazing journey um, that really will help you in this journey to reduce inflammation. But when you're tired, oh my God, I go take a nap. I take a five-minute shavasana on my, my couch. I set my my alarm, uh, but my meditation, thank you, God, Lord, creator, for the day. Thank you for, I'll go down the list of the people that I'm grateful for. But to feel chronically fatigued is usually due to chronic inflammation in your body, which is due to your diet. And we're all dying from the wrong diet. We're, we're not herbivores. We're more like carnivores, intermittent feasters. It's the game changer that I've learned for, for myself. Uh, and I've had arthritis, psoriasis, kidney stones, migraines, and bowel bleeding. It's all gone. Failed implantation, T-Suite 05. Again, look at the family building guide. Don't forget endometriosis, laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, and or the medical treatment. Uh, look at uh, the immune protocols, uh, three and four, IVIG, Humira. If you want to do some testing, uh, Prejimmune with Dr. Vidali looking at some testing. Uh, but And I think the treatment is critical. We already know you have inflammation and a problem in all this. Uh, Kiltz's keto lifestyle is critical. Acupuncture, massage, meditation, and persistence. And don't forget to think about another a, a, a gestational carrier potentially for some of those where it's not working or donor sperm, donor egg, or a donor embryo. Uh, let's see, Ann Rollins. How you doing, Ann Rollins? How soon after consult can you start your recommended treatment? Uh, it might take a week to four weeks to get everything lined up. Uh, we're working as quick as we can to get everyone moving forward. It's been crazy COVID, and we're working with everyone, and we're grateful to everyone. And there are challenges, and we're always working to make them better and correct them. And so by doing that, um, uh, it takes a little time to make it all better. Natural versus modified, natural versus medicated FET. So Carissa Curry. So again, the natural cycle is I ovulate monthly. I simply call and say, hey, I ovulated. I tested my LH surge. I'm going to come in for a transfer. It may be as simple as that. Uh, or it may be that you get an ultrasound. You see mature follicle, good lining. You give a trigger shot. 
you schedule the transfer. Uh, or you take letrozole uh, and and a trigger shot, get some monitoring, uh, and then schedule the transfer uh, after that. Uh, so there's lots of different ways to do this. Or you're taking going left, follistim or menopure or Lotus HCG or human growth. Those are the stimulated protocols. And again, our family building guide has a lot of this. Our website has a lot of this. And we're really, really working. We're improving our financial team, our billing team. They're working on a new software system to make it better for everyone. So I'm sorry for any delays in getting all this information. We're working on, on a way that you can go simply on an app, pay for your IVF or sign up for a payment plan and lock and load and get moving forward. Kathleen Mayfield, three children naturally, youngest is 12, diagnosed with hydrosalpinx. Get them removed, by the way. 41 years young. Uh, surgery is the uh, is get rid of them and do IVF. Now, sometimes they can be corrected if there's just a little bit of, of adhesions, but if it's more than that, they should come out, by the way. A low sperm count appointment, CNY, is in November. So talk to your OBGYN about removing your tubes. Look at the uh, the uh, the CNY uh, Fertility Family Building Guide uh, and Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle. We should make a companion together that you can get those. And they're inexpensive investment on Amazon. We recommend those uh, for everyone. Uh, and that, But get those tubes removed and and uh, and go keto. Uh, Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle makes so many babies and don't give up. 41 is very young, by the way. Uh, how much advanced notice do you get uh, for your retrieval or transfer. Uh, it could be as short as two days, uh, but sometimes we can guesstimate it uh, a few weeks in advance, but that's the problem. It's not always that as perfect. If you're doing a medicated frozen transfer, it's about five to seven days. We can usually give you a, 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 a knowledge on that. People are driving by our Colorado. If we could get something in Kansas or Minnesota and California, that'll help so many out there, uh, by the way. Let's see. Perry uh, Cower, uh, 06, Clement is better with PCOS and thyroid or electrical. I love letrozole. Uh, uh, sure. Kanara, uh, uh, Kanar uh, Waria. Uh, hello, it's a pleasure. So again, it's, and let me get back to that. I, I get a little distracted from time. I think letrozole is better. It's not, doesn't have the same psychological effects, can cause emotional distress in any of us. So I do let, use letrozole for guys, 2.5, uh, Clomid 25 for guys, HCG 250 for guys. I think it's helpful for sperm improvement along with all the other kills this keto lifestyle. And then, and then also, um, uh, ba, 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 ba. you guys are great. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go hang out with Dr. Corley a little later today. We're going to get on the golf course and just spend some time chatting and hitting the ball around. We don't do uh, anything other than I call it. Uh, it's um, we're non-attached NATO golf, non-attached outcome. That's it. Uh, Jessica Brown, uh, how can I naturally increase my progesterone and vitamin D levels? Well, kills this keto lifestyle and get rid of the plants. The plants contain the chelating uh, processes that remove the progesterone and damage the ovaries and the corpus luteum. So that's the best way. Lotus now treks on CBD, acupuncture, massage, and you got to do the meditation, the prayer, and the visualization. I'm visualizing. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is our fertile conversations with Dr. Kiltz. Welcome. It's also the, the, uh, uh, the fertile fireside chat, but it's, we're all sharing ideas and how we can all share baby dust Kelly with everyone. Uh, and, uh, unwind. We all need unwind. So I get in my pottery studio. I unwind. I, I do this sometimes and I unwind. I love just talking and sharing ideas and, um, and, and occasionally get off and kick some balls around. Uh, is keto good for thin people? Uh, you got to add the fat. Look at Kiltz's keto lifestyle and the ice cream. I think I got the ice cream in my, uh, in, in the uh, family building guide. I know my stuff seems so nuts and crazy, but um Kiltz's ice cream. Check it out. If you're if you want to gain some weight, you got to eat the fat. 
not more carbs. Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle and Emmerich the Keto and Judy Cho's stuff, glucose is the leading cause of glycation and damage to our cells, our bodies, our mitochondria, and more. The story is so simple. Occam's razor. Simplicity is the one. The more we can recognize simplicity. We do, uh, we do, yes, we do gender selection, by the way, at CMI Fertility. Uh, all our locations that do IVF, uh, let's be pescatarian three years. Pescatarian's okay, by the way. Carnivarian, pescatarian, uh, chicketarian. Uh, I personally love fatty red meat. Oh my God, I love it. But I have been been frying some chicken wings in duck grease. Amazing. You can even dip it in a little uh, blue cheese with mayonnaise. Uh, but remember that one meal a day is critical, I think. But yes, uh, fish is okay. But I'm always concerned about the fish swimming in the waters. They get highly contaminated, more so than I think the grazing grass, free-range grazing animals. That's it. And if you're eating a plant... Uh, remember, plants are live organisms that don't want to be eaten either. They make the poisons, the chemicals, the antigens to control us, to kill us, to attract us, to smoke them, inject them, do all sorts of things to them, and even genetically modify them to plant them all around the world because they're, they're the ones that are actually in charge of the world and us. Uh, let's see. VQ... Tadine, uh, AMH of 4.3, 38 years young, take metformin and starting stims. You can take it and start stims right away. I don't like more than 500 milligrams a day. I like Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle, one meal a day, uh, and you got to add the fat. It's crazy concepts and ideas. Game changed. I've seen so many conceive on Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle or some fasting lifestyle or some keto paleo, uh, that's so remarkable. And remember, the phytoestrogens, progestins, and androgens are in the plants. You're eating your birth control pills if you're eating three to six meals of a high plant-based diet. One meal a day, no matter what you're eating, it'll make you better. Add the fat and cook the carbs well. Really matters. Jennifer, scar tissue around the ovaries, will that affect IVF? It won't. I often, though, will do a laparoscopy, find like this mucus all over things, almost like snot, all around your tubes and ovaries. I wash it out, clean it out, flush it out, little uh, PRP, LDN, voila, we see so many pregnancies by simply flushing it out, just like you flush out your sinuses. That's why the antihistamine protocol, Claritin, Pepsin, and Benadryl, and, um, oh, uh, let's see, uh, Mucinex, it helps, by the way. Why? Anti-inflammatory. Why is Kiltz's Keto so good? Anti-inflammatory. Uh, what causes high prolactin levels? Likely inflammation that stimulates the, 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 uh, 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 the pituitary gland to make prolactin. It's all inflammation. Same like hyperthyroidism or hyperandrogenism. Inflammation. That's it. Laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, well, uh, insurance should cover it, but I think we're at about $2,500 in-office surgeries. Uh, remove my end of March, and what method did you use to remove it? We used both. Uh, uh, will I have scar tissue? We both, we use mostly excision, occasional vaporization if we're able to vaporize the deep levels also, but most of it superficial, just vaporization, uh, but excision is is the common method that we use along with taking out uh, uh, scar tissue. We excise it, by the way. Retrieval was empty. Anything can try for better results. Kelly, Hill or Lamb, I'm sorry, empty follicles. Duo stem, triple stem, mini doses, uh, omnitrope, human growth hormone, LDN, keto, kilts is keto, kilts is keto, kilts is keto. I know I sound like a broken record. We can help you, sure. Okay, we can help you with gender, by the way. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on this beautiful Sunday. Remember, every day is a God-given, blessed day. No matter ch what challenges we're experiencing, we need to sort of bring it in. Give it up to God every day. God is the major master of the universe. 
He's within all of us. We are the gods. We decide a good day, a bad day, a right day, a wrong day, an easy day, a hard day. Check out my book, The Fertile Spirit, Fertile Secret. And um, and don't forget uh, every day. Oh, Mind Body Smile is my other one. Check it out. Have fun. And uh, have fun, have fun, have fun. Uh, let's see. How big are your laparoscopy incisions? Five millimeters. Uh, occasionally we'll do a 12 or a three cent, like three to six centimeters. If we have to take out big fibroids, you pull them right out those incisions, but we keep them small fibroids. And we'll be doing, let me see this last question. Uh, Vernalin, Vernalin, uh, hi Vernalin. How you doing today? Uh, fibroids will be doing frozen transfer next month. Fro fibroids are small. Do you think that they may affect transfer implantation? Uh, if they're more than two centimeters or even one and a half, remove them more likely. If they're less than one, likely not a problem unless they're 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 in they're they're touching or within the endometrial lining or cavity, then those should be removed. All right. I've talked on long enough. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know if you could see this. If you could see my uh, stumbling blocks, right? Two stepping stones. Uh, Miss uh, Special got that for me, one of our new shirts. But take all these stumbling box blocks and make them stepping stones to the success of your life and always have faith in God and uh, the power of God or the spirit, whatever you believe in nature. Positivity will, will eliminate the negative. If you focus on the problems and the negative, you can't see the positives of what they are. But the more you see them, the more beautiful comes in your life. God bless you, my friends. Have an awesome and amazing day. Hope to see you this week. I always love this, the, the pictures together, uh, but all of our docs love it. All of our team is really wants to be here for you. And if we're not doing our very best, please just say, hey, can I have your attention, please? Let us know what you need, and we're going to do better and better and better. God bless you, my friends. I will see you next week for sure.